Hello, ladies and gents. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Saturday, and I'm actually cooped up in my house because where I live, we've had such bad wildfires, wild fat, <laughs> wild flap. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've had such bad wildfires here. Our air quality is so bad that we're not supposed to go outside. All my activities are canceled, so I'm cooped up inside. I'll, I'll show a picture outside my window of how smoky it is. Okay, yeah, Um, you can't really tell, but it's literally smoke. Like, that's all smoke. It's not cloud. It's literally just smoke. Since it's still technically quarantine where I live, and I'm also stuck inside because of the smoke, I'm just going to be quarantining myself on Star Stable. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. You know, if, if quarantining doesn't work, I'm just going to have fun playing Star Stable, because I feel like I haven't done that in a really long time. But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna... Uh, disappear from these <laughs> from these random people um i'm just gonna say bye first off um in quarantine we have to get a mask because we don't want to be breathing on people sadly i didn't actually get any <laughs> i didn't get any of the miscreant masks which would be actually perfect but i have three alternative masks um <laughs> the leprechaun the pumpkin or the pig. They're actually really stylish. I don't know why you guys are, are a little bit nervous about me wearing these in public. I think they're adorable. So <laughs> we're gonna go with the pig um, because we don't wanna give people our sickness. We wanna stay safe and we always gotta make sure to wash our hands. Um, let's take off our gloves so we can properly wash our fingertips and our in our hands, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been cooped up all day. I have all this weird energy, but yeah. Okay, we gotta wash our hands and our body to make sure <laughs> we get rid of all the sickness particles in there. I don't think we should dry them with this musty cloth. <laughs> So we're just gonna let them air dry. You know, to be extra safe, I think we should just cover up all our, you know, exposed body parts because we, we really just don't want to get sick. What if I put myself in a hazmat suit? Okay, no, I'm kidding. I mean, it would be fun. <laughs> Could I do it? I'm actually gonna do it. Okay, so we're ready for battle. Now that we have our mask on and our hazmat suit, let's go ahead and pick a horse. Turtle is actually getting really close to Max, so we're gonna bring her because she's my trusty... Oh, him. Um, he is my trusty little steed. I've, I gave him special supplements this morning, so he can't get sick. Don't worry. They're not social distancing. Look at them. Mm -mm. Um, we gotta get groceries um, and all sorts of supplies because if we're stuck inside and we can't even go to the grocery store... I just, I don't understand how we're gonna survive. Um, so yeah, let's go inside. You know, let's, let's go inside. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Oh, sorry, social distancing. Um, can I have some food for quarantine? Yeah, I, I know the business isn't open, but I've been, I've been starving in my stable. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. So she told me to just order some random food. I mean, all these are pretty perishable. You know, a glass of water is is actually a pretty a pretty good investment. Sparkling mineral water. I I'd, I'd get sparkling water, but you know, it just tinkles my tongue, so I I definitely don't want to be drinking that in quarantine. Vegetarian pizza, pepperoni pizza. Mmm. Mmm. They look the same to me. <laughs> He's like, just pick a pizza, okay? I'm just gonna get um, pepperoni. So we got some supplies. We got a gallon of water here. Yeah, they misspelled it. It was actually a gallon, not a glass. So we have a gallon of water and then we have some non-perishables here. Um, and then we have horse hay, of course, but I already stocked up on that before this video. Um, thank you, Courtney. Thank you for the food. Um, yeah, so next thing's next. <laughs> We gotta find a little bunker or something that we can hide in over quarantine because, you know, just in case um, people get infected, we wanna make sure we have like a safe house. Like, you know, 
in the zombie apocalypse, we need like a safe house for zombies. Like they're gonna get in my stable. Like they're just gonna find a way. So we gotta figure out a place that we can survive the apocalypse, you know, if it happens. Cause we're just making sure we're extra prepared. And yeah, I have some extra clothes in, <laughs> in my backpack just in case. I think we should pick some cozy clothes but I think I'd, I'd just be wearing my hazmat suit. Oh, I have a really good bunker idea. I think this could be a really good choice for the apocalypse because I think it has a pretty sturdy door, but we, we should check out the sturdiness of the door just to make sure the zombies couldn't get in. I think it's sturdy enough. I, I, I just, I can tell. So perfect. See, this looks super sturdy down here. Um, spiders i mean spiders are okay because we'll have company during quarantine um what's down here <laughs> um this is the spooky scary basement that we're just gonna store all our toilet paper in you know just in case and we should probably pick out special rooms for special activities i think this should probably be the either the bedroom or the storage room see it has a little something that kind of looks like a window i mean there's already wine in here one little bottle of wine <laughs> so maybe this can be where our non-perishables and gallon of water go and there's a little seat just in case just in case i get tired drinking my water i'm gonna put all my horse food in here or my horse tack you know there's a shovel Oh, I thought there was like something creepy in there. Yeah, okay, let's leave. I feel like this is where my bedroom should be. First off, there's a TV. <laughs> I gotta keep myself updated. What if I just stay in the bunker and, and I just am thinking that the apocalypse is still going, but in reality, it had like ended five months earlier and I was just still in my bunker. Like I gotta keep in touch with the news and everything. Okay, anyway, so now that we had a bunker, um, I think we should just... I thought I locked my bunker. If an ordinary person can get in my bunker, this might not be the <laughs> the right place for an apocalypse. <laughs> you know, before they actually like shut us inside forever, I think we should just go and check out the wonders of Jorvik because we're probably not gonna see them for a long time if we're cooped up inside. The first wonder of Star Stable is the Silverglade Castle. This was founded in the 1400s. Um, by this lady here. She is miraculously still alive. No one knows how. She is also one of the wonders of Jorvik because she is really old. Maybe I should steal this just in case, you know, the apocalypse gets a little deadly. My horse is actually really good at parkour. The next wonder of Jorvik is actually Steve. Um, I can actually get this close to him because he is my family. He's my star stable lover i'm kidding um steve is just so wonderful i've mentioned before but we put out the traps for the mice and rats at night and we we feed the birds together so we just have this good connection but yeah he's definitely one of the wonders of star stable he's just he's just so cool like look at that he even has a trident like wow the next winner of star stable is this lovely castle in the hills. A lot of the wonders are actually castles because, you know, castles are, are really cool. But yeah, this castle in the hills, there's rumors that there's like a witch who lives in there um, or, or like a wizard or something, or maybe even an elf or a leprechaun, maybe even a princess. No one even knows, but I personally think it's a troll. Um, who lives in there but there's just so many rumors and you know disappearances in the forest and they think something you know scary is going on in that castle but it is definitely one of the wonders of star stable because it's just it's so cool like if you look if you look closely at it like look at the detail like it it's just such a cool castle but no one dares to even get close enough because you know they don't want to get kidnapped by one of the trolls or something. The next wonder of Jorvik is this old house. You know, no one knows what happened here. No one can even get there. You know, if they even try to swim or try to go by boat, they just get swept away and magical message says you got sent back to shore, but no one, no one even knows why. You know, it looks like there was possibly a fire, but you know, there wasn't even a fireplace in the house, so no one even has any clue what happened. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully people will be able to, you know, get in there one day. But, you know, as of now, 
definitely a wonder of Jorvik. The next two wonders of Jorvik are actually side by side. This is the new Hillcrest Castle. No one has been able to get in because they have really high security. People actually think that's possibly where the Star Stable government secrets are stored, but no one really knows for sure. Uh, the next place is this little secret temple. Um, I have tried to get there myself, but I cannot rock climb, um, and that seems like the only way in. You know, people think there's a spirit hiding inside or something. This one here has been here forever. Surprisingly, it is not really broken or anything. But yeah, you know, I can't rock climb so I can't get in. But it's definitely a temple and who knows who was keeping it this nice after all these years. We just don't know. Our very last Wonder of a Star Stable is the Star Stable trailer. Not even trailer, it's the Star Stable pickup team. For some reason, no matter where you are, the pickup truck can come and pick up your horse. Like, look at me, I'm, I'm on a rock. I am in the middle of nowhere. There are no roads in sight, but yet the pickup truck finds a way to get me. Now that we've seen all the wonders of Star Stable, we can finally go into quarantine until the sickness is finally cleared from Jorvik. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go into my quarantine bunker and I'll see you when this is all over. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!